welcome back. Let's get more now on the committee investigation into fake news. Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg was criticised by MPs after failing to appear to give evidence. Now let's bring in uh, Toby Beresford, CEO of Rise uh, Global and uh, social media expert. Uh, hello to you, uh, Toby Beresford. Uh, we just saw a picture there, uh, Toby, of um, tweeted out by the committee of that committee room, them all sitting there, and an empty chair, that for uh, Mark Zuckerberg sitting there. Uh, where was he? Well, obviously, he didn't turn up. And uh, I think it's a very visual representation of the shift in balance of power for, from, from the democracies all sitting around at the, that table to the, uh, the power that is uh, Silicon Valley and Facebook uh, just not showing up. Uh, he didn't. He didn't feel he needed to attend. I don't think he. Um, I don't. I don't think personally he did need to attend. I think that the the level of questioning was pretty poor. So um, I think he probably did right not turning up. In terms of the level of questioning, what what was it that the committee were, were trying to achieve? Mm. So I think I think broadly the committee has ha, its main goal is really to try and um, find the place to uh, regulate services like fee. But it, it, there are definitely these two sort of two two different forces really trying to find out how best do we we regulate um, social media and to a certain extent the wider internet. Yeah, I mean, so Mark Zuckerberg didn't think it, it was worth him coming, but, there, but there's there's a number of countries I involved in this um, who've all come together. How did it come about? So, um, so the, the the so the Damien Collins MP, who's the um, chair of this committee, the uh, Department of Culture, Media and Sport, they've um, they've been uh, trying to get Mark Zuckerberg to come and answer questions um, for um, for quite for a while now. And um, this really was this really looked from 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 the outside looked like what what he was doing is trying to say, oh, hang on, okay, so you're not willing to listen to the UK uh, as a body. Maybe perhaps if we brought together uh, other countries who are also with similar types of questions, similar interests whether if we brought them all into the same room, that would be enough of an incentive to, to bring the, the boss of Facebook there. Uh, but to a certain extent, he's, he's, Zuckerberg will, will, is not really, um, it's, it's not really just him as a company, it's the whole company. Facebook as itself is a global company. It's responsible for uh, 2.2 billion people's uh, social usage. If they, if they go to every um, country's uh, question session, or, so it doesn't just have to be the UK, it could be um, all, all that you know, there are 200, two, over 200 countries in the world. I mean, they can't turn up to every single one. So I think they, Facebook just has to pick and choose where they see the sort of the best questions coming from and the, the best source of, 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 the, of the conversation between uh, government and between Facebook as to what this regulation will look like. And it, unfortunately, it didn't look from certainly from my point of view that that uh, that we were asking the really the kind of the difficult questions. Well, what sort of questions do you think needed to be asked then, Toby? So I think the key, the key problem that they have is that Facebook tends to approach solving the, the problems that come across it, they tend to approach it from an engineering point of view. And they're now looking at the problem, and, and Mark Zuckerberg has put on the, um, just, just this week, has, has come up with a new engineering solution to, uh, to try and to, try and to reduce the level of kind of extreme content that is, that is being um, perpetuated by the algorithm. Because at the end of the day, that's what's actually happening. There isn't, there's, it, it's, it's, there's a machine that is service, which this is getting in between us in, in our conversations and call it the Facebook news feed and it's deciding which pieces of content to show us and which not so um, the, so the Facebook approach is really a continual evolution of the engineering behind it to say okay how, how can we um, can we tune this machine can we make it better and I think the problem that they have as an organization is that they aren't able to insert the kind of the safety and civic values. And this is something that Emily Bell recently said. They're not able to insert those safety and civic values into something that's fundamentally quite a culturally insensitive product. And yeah, so, so, so the I argument the real, we hear from Mark Zuckerberg yeah. repeatedly is we're a tech company, we're not a media company, we're not a, a publisher. But, exactly. but given the prevalence of news, 62% of US adults, I think, get their news on Facebook. There is a responsibility there. Are they taking it seriously enough? I mean, they can make enough money uh, from these platforms. They can generate the billions. Can they not mm -hmm. tackle fake news? Surely they can. Uh, I, 
surely they can invest more, and I think they are continuing to invest more, and the more that we have these sorts of uh, these, these sorts of conversations. But I, I do, act, I genuinely believe it's two sided. I think governments have to invest more in policing the internet. I think we, the, the internet is is grossly under policed, uh, and we're not spending enough money on digital justice. We don't spend enough money on digital policing as governments. We're 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 really quite a long way behind the curve, and I think that we have to. We, we can't have one without the other. We we can't expect private companies to do all our okay. um, to do our regulation for us. And so I think I think just to finish, I think that the, the the main kind of thing that needs to come out of this is that there needs to be a joint independent body that okay. is funded both by Facebook. Toby and Toby Beresford, by the I government. don't want to interrupt you, but we are running out of time. Thank you very much indeed. This is Sky News. We'll have lots more coming up at three o'clock.